The story of Land and Sea takes us back in time to tell the story of three generations and their love and loss. The novel is the first from UNC grad Katie Simpson-Smith, and she is here to tell us more about it. Welcome, Katie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, so are you a history buff? I am. I've loved history since I was a little girl. Um, and so when I came to UNC Chapel Hill to get my uh, PhD in history, it was a wonderful way to research the time and place and get a real sense of the deep history of the time that I would eventually write about. So that was your inspiration for writing your yes. first novel? Yes. Um, so it actually came from a trip that I took to Beaufort, North Carolina, yes. which is a beautiful town uh -huh. on the North Carolina coast. Um, and it has this very creepy and uh, eccentric graveyard um, yeah. that was the inspiration for some of the characters. And I understand that one particular gravestone caught your attention. Yes, it was a grave of a little girl buried in a rum keg. Mm -hmm. um, and that just sparked my imagination. I wanted to know how she got in the rum keg and who would have put her there and if it was someone who loved her very much or someone who just didn't know what to do with this body. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of the germ that started the whole novel. Wow, okay, now I'm interested. Did you get the answer to how she ended up there? <laughs> I sort of made up the answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you'll have to read to find out. Okay, so you follow three generations, yes. right? And their love and their loss. Yeah, so it starts off with John, who's this widower and ex-pirate, ex-soldier. Um, who's raising this 10-year-old daughter on his own. Um, his wife died in childbirth, which was uh, very common for this time period. Um, and so I was really interested in exploring how a man who is not necessarily raised to know how to parent uh, would parent in this era. Mm -hmm. um, so it follows him and his daughter and then sort of moves back a generation to uh, explore his wife's growing up years and um, her father, Asa, who's a um, plantation owner. Okay, there is a lot of... Uh dying, their, their social lives are dying, their commercial <laughs> lives are dying, right? Yeah, so it's a kind of a bleak time in American history for this particular town in North Carolina. Um, it's shrinking. Um, a lot of people, as you say, are dying from you know, disease or just from you know, their family's line is dying out. Um, and yet, one of the things I really wanted to explore with this novel is how you can have all of this loss in your life and yet find reasons to live and find the hope. Um, to keep going, and I think that that's a really relevant message for all of us today. Absolutely. So I've read some really nice reviews. That must be exciting for a first-time author is. like you. It's very surreal. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations Thank you on so the book. Much. You can meet Katie and get her your book signed at three locations in the Triangle this week. Tonight at 7 p.m. at Flyleaf Books in Chapel Hill. Tomorrow night in Durham at Regulator Bookshop, and Wednesday night at 7:30 at Quail Ridge Books in Raleigh.